asking for them. <laughs> but your tutor, your tutor will probably want to know them. Yeah, he said he wants I want to. But he needs to talk to me to get them, not yeah. not you talk to me. Uh, and he hasn't talked to me yet. I'm just curious about that. Um, I do not know because I've given it zero thought. I haven't thought about it. Um, I'll have a look at your mid semester, um, and then I'll see what I feel, and then I'll decide. Feel. Yeah. I go over my gut instinct. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let's have a look. So, which question do you want to start with first, then? Are we starting with? Do you want to see first on the logs? Logs. <laughs> no, yeah, logs for sure. Practical problems. Uh, but which question exactly? Uh, the it's the lessons called practical problems. <laughs> logs. These ones here. You want to see six, okay? Good, yeah. And um, so, guys, we're going to start with number six. Guys, can you see? We're going to start with number six. Okay. Uh, who was able to get it? No? No. No one? Okay. Um, I don't know actually. Does anyone know carbon 14? I know it from chemistry. Yeah, that's all you need to know. The chemistry thing. That's enough. It is, it's enough. So, red carbon 14 uh, is exponential with half-life of 5,730. Uh, so what does that mean? That means uh, carbon-14 uh, will be half its original amount after 5,730 years. So what they're saying is, or what I'm saying is, uh, you, have, you have some carbon-14, yeah. and then after 5,000 years, half of it's left. Oh. And then after another 5,000 years, Half again. So it's half in every 5,730 years. So I ask you, if there's 79.5 percent left, uh, what's the time? Oh, so it's less than 5,000. Yeah, it'll be less than 5,000 years. So at the very beginning, you okay? Uh, at the very beginning, you have 100%. And then after 5,730 years, you have 50%. So that's okay so far? No. Yes? Lucas? That's sloppy. Okay. Okay. Why is 15%? That's um. Ah, uh, hot light. Yeah. Okay. Continue. Yeah. So carbon fourteen, if it's exponential, it means it will be this formula A E B T. We don't know the A and we don't know the B. Mm -hmm. Let's use this one first. One hundred percent equals A E zero. So what does A equal? 100%. So now we have carbon-14 equals 100% EBT. How can I find the B? This one, yeah? 50% equals 
E5, 7, 3, O, B. And we want the B now. Okay, I'll pause for a minute and let you write that down. Are you writing this down, Charlie? Are you sure? No, you, do, you need to very hurry up. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't even have a pen. Come on. <laughs> oh, good. Continue. Yes. Next, we're looking for the B. So what should I do next? Uh, I should divide by 100. So I get 0 0.5 equals E5730 B. Okay, what about now? Log. Log. And here what happens? Cancel. Cancel. So now I should divide by 5730 and I have my formula for B. It's this, which I'll hit in on the calculator now, which I don't have open yet. Uh, what is it? It's going to be something like minus 0 0.000121 or something. Oh, here, I got it now. Logs uh, 0.50 over 5730, uh, 121, yeah. So now I have this formula. Carbon 14 equals 100% E minus 0 0.000121 T. Okay. No, now we need to find two, correct. Mm -hmm. Continue? Yeah. Yep. So what how much carbon fourteen do I have? Uh seventy nine point five percent equals one hundred percent E minus zero point zero 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 one two one T divide by a hundred percent and I get zero point 795 equals E minus 0 0.000121 T. Okay, next. Log, log, cancel, cancel, and then finally divide by this number. Minus 0 0.000121, and this will be 1895. But I said in the question two significant figures. So what would be the final answer? Not one eight nine five years. Two significant figures? Uh one eight zero zero. No. no. Of course not. It should be two, two significant figures. Yeah. Uh, one eight. One eight. No. One eight zero zero. No. One thousand. No. Ah, come on, one oh. nine. Oh, uh, I know that. I know you know that. Uh, so the answer is one thousand nine hundred years. Yeah. Okay, that was awkward. Uh, write that down, please. Holiday. Yeah, no, I know. So I went into the kitchen in the college this morning and you need a pin to get in yeah. and because I haven't been in a week I forgot the pin I'm like yeah. <laughs> uh, I forgot a week is a long time <laughs> okay you have this yeah yeah so what's next seven what's seven about so the ah seven I like this one you like yeah, I like it yeah the I don't like the sign no, no. Yeah. Yeah. Be strong. Be strong. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we're going to do uh, number seven next.
Maybe I should let you try it first, but I'll give you the idea. So, number seven, a teacher's playing a game with a student. He thinks of a word in the dictionary, and the student wins when they've guessed what word he is thinking of. If they guess wrongly, I'm just trying to think if wrongly is a word, I think it is. If they guess wrongly, the teacher will say if the word they guess comes before or after his word. So I'll give you an example, okay? Um, I'm thinking of a word, okay. and then uh, you ask me, you guess what word I'm thinking of. So uh, I've got the word, okay, make a guess of what it is. Yeah. Uh, so he guessed table, so my answer to you is no. It's not table, but my word comes before table in the dictionary. So it's not table, it's not anything after table, it's before table in the dictionary. Okay, so now you make a guess. Yeah, it's before table. Yeah. What did you say? Sand. It is not sand. And it is before sound in the dictionary. Oh, yeah. No, uh, all you know is it doesn't, It's if you look in the dictionary, it's before sound. So it's like playing a cool and warm game? Yeah, like, yeah, like this. Have a guess at my word. Yeah. Alphabet. Alphabet. It is not alphabet, and it's after alphabet. So it's after alphabet and before sand. Okay. Have a guess, many of you. No, it doesn't matter. You're not supposed to know yet. Have a guess. Just pick any word between alphabet and sand. Wow, you're thinking too much about this. <laughs> no, no, I'm not expecting you to get it right. It's just I want you to make a guess at what the word is I'm thinking of. Cat. <laughs> cat. Cat, okay, fine, cat. Uh, no, it's not cat. It's after cat in the dictionary. So it's after cat and before sand. Okay, go ahead, Starry, make a guess. House? No, it's after house and before sand. So now we're now we're getting closer. Uh, Lucas? Korea. Korea. No, you know Korea. Um, Korea. Uh, hang on, let me think. What? What? Hang on, I have to write down the alphabet. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P. Q or S T U V W X Y Z. You said Korea. No, it's not Korea. Um, it's after Korea. And um, also, it's also before sand. Okay, go. Laptop. Laptop. No, it's not laptop. It's after laptop and before sand. Okay, go ahead. Party. Party. It's not party. It's before party. Before party. Yeah, so it's somewhere here now. Moon? It is not moon, it is before moon. So, before max is the answer. What? Do you, do you understand this game? Yeah. So now, we can, my question is, how many guesses will you need to make before you guess the right word? And you can assume that I know 16,000 words. Okay, so at the very beginning, think about it like this, at the very beginning, when you have no guess, how many answers could there be? 16,000. Now, after you make one guess, how many is left? Less than yeah, but exactly how many? Uh, no, 8,000. Because if you pick a letter in the middle, 
of the alphabet. Oh. You can yeah. split it into 8,000 and 8,000. So after one guess, how many words are left? 8,000. 8,000. And then after two guesses, there's 4,000. 4, 4, Do you see? Oh, so it's kind of like half nine. It's Yeah, this is the idea. It's similar, isn't it? Oh. Okay, so now I'll let you try now to solve this before I do it. I want to know how many guesses do you need to make. And by the way, you need to keep one guess at the end for when you say, is it maths, for example. Because even if there's only one word left, you still have to ask, is it that word? Okay, so don't forget to add one to your answer at the end. I'll give you one minute to try and figure out the answer. Uh, if you want, you can think. Uh, if you want, you can think about it like this. You can say the number of words equals a e b g, and what's g? Do you think yeah. guesses? Or if yeah, no, actually, you can go with it like this. The number of words equals a e b times yes. the guess number. So, so what's the A? The word? Yeah, but what is the number for A? Oh, um, 16, yeah. yeah. So now try and get the B. Okay. Got the idea? Yeah, I got it. Here, look, look, look. You could say when G equals zero, W equals 16,000. If you make no guesses, yeah. how many words could there be for the answer? 16,000. And then after you make one guess, uh -huh. there should only be 8,000 words left. Yeah. So why? Why? Why and this how? formula? Yeah, and then why how? Ah, if you think about it, the, if you have A to Z, uh -huh. you should always pick a word that starts with M at the beginning. Because then, if you think about it, a dot 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 m dot 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 z. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you no, it's not this, and then I'll say if it's before or if it's after. There's eight thousand here and eight thousand oh. here. You can, if you pick a word in the middle, then you can always split it into half. So this is why it goes sixteen eight four. Oh. You're able to half each time. You should find A and B, and then once you have A and B, you can get the guess number. When the word mm. equals 1, you can work out what the G, the guess is. Mm. Is this too confusing? I don't know. I thought it was a great question. Actually, is it actually that difficult to understand what means? Yes. I don't make it easy, do I? <laughs> what answer did you get? No. Have we got an answer over there? Yeah, you just got it. Did you get it? Almost done. Answer minus three guesses. Mm. Mm. What? Oh. What did he do wrong? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a long game. Okay, let's have a look. So if we use this one first, we get sixteen thousand <coughs> equals A E B zero. So A is 16,000. Mm -hmm. So W equals 16,000 E B G. Now, if we use this one, we get 8,000 equals 16,000 E B 1. So, what should I do now? Divide by 
16,000, so that's 0 0.5 equals EB, and then log. log. So B equals minus 0 0.69. Yeah. Okay, so now we have this formula uh, equals 16,000 E minus 0 0.693 G. Okay, let's work it out. How many words do we want to have left? One. One. And we need to work out what the guess is. How many guesses? So we have one, one. equals 16,000 E minus 0 0.693 uh, G. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So what do I do first? Divide by 16,000. And then log 1 over 16,000 equals minus 0 0.693 G. And then finally divide by minus 0 0.693. So I get G equals, let's have a type in here. 13.93. Oh, you have it, thank you. 13 point. 19. Oh, so 14 then. Yeah, 14. So 14 guesses, you'll be left with one word, and then you can say, is the word, and it has to be, because there's only one word left. So you would need 15 guesses then. Oh. Because after 14 guesses, you have one word left, so you need to ask the person, is that the answer? Even though it has to be the answer, because it's the only word left in the dictionary, you still have to ask, is this the word you're thinking of? Oh. 14 guesses like the wrong answer, and the 15... Will be the right one, yeah. Now, this is the maximum, because the minimum could be one. Minimum is 14? No, the minimum is one, because oh. you can get very lucky and guess it. Oh, on the first yeah. turn, you know. So we know that this is the maximum. So the answer will be the game will last one to fifteen turns. This is the length of the game. It's not going to be one. Although I thought somebody might have guessed maths. I guess not. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Did you write this down? Yeah. Yeah. Right, what's next? So, I better plug in my battery here. Uh, what's next? Nine. Nine. <laughs> no, you don't have to do nine. It's a chemistry okay. question, yeah. Okay. Um, uh, did you do, or did we do number four? That's a business question. Yeah. No, I don't know. Okay, let's do number four then. Can you have a read? <coughs> Uh, Lucas, do you mind putting that into there? Yeah, or sorry, I don't know. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Um, can we have a look at number four then? Have you done this with Mark or Donald? Interest? No. 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 Percentage interest. No? Okay, so I'll have to explain this then. Does anyone know what it means, interest rate? Like, what you gain after doing the loan or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. So you give money to the bank uh, into a savings account, and then the bank pays you money for holding the savings for you. Yeah. So, for example, if the interest rate is 1%, it means for every 100 euros you give to the bank in a savings account, after every year the bank will pay you 1 euro per 100 euros. This is interest. Uh, you haven't done this with Donald? No, no. Are you sure? Yeah. What are you doing right now? Or the last thing you did? Yeah, yeah elasticity. Price elasticity of demand? Yeah. So you would have done percentage with them? Percentages? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, but not uh, interest. Uh, yeah, not yeah. interest. Mm -hmm. So, APR is what we call in the interest rate. Does anyone know what it stands for? Well, the OR you should know. It's rate. APR? 
yeah, it stands for interest rate. APR stands for annual percentage oh. rate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what? Percentage rate. What? And your percentage rate. Rate. Is it? Yeah. Now, if it's 12% APR, that means it's 12% per year. But I tell you that it's converted monthly. What this means is the bank pays 1% per month. per month. If they pay 1% per month, how much is that per year? That's like 12%. Yeah. yeah. So 12% APR monthly means 1% per month. Okay, good, good. So what's happening here is um, Anne has some money in the bank and the bank balance will grow slowly, exponentially. I don't want to use B since I've used balance, so I'll use K. So she puts 100 euros in the bank, and then after one month, how much will she have? 101. 101. After two months, about 102, but it's actually a little bit more than 102. Yeah. So she puts some money in the bank, and she wants to know how long until she has twice that amount. Oh no, when I say balance, I mean like bank balance, like uh, what's in your account? Account balance? Oh, account balance. Yeah. Not balance sheet. Not balance sheet, no. Um, okay, so she puts some money into the bank. Do I tell you how much she puts in? No, I don't. So we'll just call that X. And then she wants to wait some time until she has 2X. So my question is, how long until she doubles her money? Yes? Okay. Now the information that you know is, at the very beginning, uh, the amount of money she has in the bank, we'll just call it X. One month later, this is in months, how much will she have? She'll have 1% more. Not quite. Not quite. Uh, hmm? one, one, zero. Oh, one, zero, one, one, zero, one, zero, one, 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 zero, zero, one, one, zero, zero, one, one, point zero, one. Too many zeros. One point zero, one. Maybe, yeah. X. This is one percent more. Here. This is enough information to get the, the A and the K. I want you to try and get the A and the K, please. And then once you have the A and the K, I'll do the next part, which is to find the T. Okay, so take this, put it in here. Take this, put it in here. This will give you the A and the K. Trust me. Yes? Why one? That's a quick way to increase a number by 1%. You multiply by 1.01. .01 because it's 1% a month, so after one month, you'll have 1% more. Yes. Uh, I don't know if you've seen this trick before, but if you want to increase a number by like 5%, you multiply by 1.05. Is that a new trick for you? Or have you seen it before? Okay. Does it make sense to I'll get here, I'll explain it why. So imagine you have X. What's one percent of X? You divide by a hundred. And then you add that to X because it increases. Ah, so one point one. Uh, why? Touch screen. Nice. Zero point zero zero nine nine five. Yeah, it should be small. Okay, good. And what did you get for A? A is A X. 
Good. So, thank you. So, if I use this one first, I get x equals a e zero. So what's a? X. X. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now I have the bank balance equals x e k t. Now I use this one. 1.01x equals x e k 1. Sorry. Uh, what should I do for now? Next. Next. Yeah, so k equals log 1.01. Uh, 0 0.00995 0 as you said. Okay, so now we have the account balance equals x e 0 0.00995 t. And now we want the t. So uh, what balance do we want? 2x. 2x equals x e 0.00995t. Does anyone have t yet? Uh, try and get the t now. You try and finish this. 69.6. Sounds about right. Uh, what do I do first? Cancel. Next. Next. Cancel. And Next. Yeah. Yeah. So T is sixty-nine point sixty-six. So that's roughly seventy months, which is five years and ten months. So I think. Isn't it? Yeah. So. Whatever money she puts in the bank, in five years and ten months, that will grow to be twice as much. Don't worry, this doesn't happen in real life because no bank gives this much interest. 12% a year is way too high for five years. Yeah. Yeah. So that means you'll have to wait longer to double the money. Yeah. Um much longer. Um, uh how much longer? A lot longer. Ten years something, you know. Uh okay. This one's okay now? I know it was a bit hard. Yeah? Yeah? Uh, because it each month it increases by 1%. So you're saying why not just say 100 months? Because then that's 100%. But it's actually what's happening is, let's say she puts in 100 euros. After one month, you'll have 101. After two months? Yeah, it's, it's 100. 100 of the 101. Yeah, this one. Yeah, it's, um, what would it be actually? Let me see. It would be 102 and a penny. So it'll get to 200 quicker than 100 months then. Uh, so, um, instead of being 100 months, it will be 70 months. So, 30 months quicker, not too bad. Yeah, because you get money on this, and that includes the money you got last month. Yeah. Um, 
we'll actually talk more about this in semester two. We'll do interest and percentage more in semester two. I just thought maybe you did it with Donald or Mark. Uh, you will do it with Donald because interest rates are important for economics like uh, central bank interest rate, ECB interest rate, Federal Reserve interest rate. You know, there's a lot of talk in the news about it. Like, for example, uh, have you done ECB with Donald? No, does anybody know ECB? Uh, ECB is European Central Bank. Yes. They set the interest rate for the euro. Okay. So at the moment it's nearly 0%, which means there's no point in saving money because you don't earn anything from it. You know. um, in some, uh, in, you know, uh, does anyone know the vet, Fed? <laughs> Federal, yeah. This is the central bank in America. Yeah. They're also about 0%. Oh. No. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Does anybody know what it is for their home country? The interest rate? No? I'm not in terms of economics in my country. Okay. Have you ever heard about that one? Because in our country. Korea would have a central bank. Central Bank of Korea or whatever. Government bank that sets the interest rate for the country. We have? Yeah. 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 I know every country yeah. has. It's the place that prints the money. Yeah. Yeah. No, uh, no. Um, Starry, would you know what the interest rate in China is? No. no. Um, do we know what it is for Pakistan? The interest rate in Pakistan? I think 2%. 2%? 2%? 2%. What's your home country? Oman. 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 You don't know? Like uh, just before you go, I know we're finished, but because that clock's actually slow. Um, the reason you talk about interest rate in economics is because when people are spending too much money inflation you get inflation. Have you done this? Yes. Yeah. Inflation. Yeah. It is common, oh, common uh, knowledge, you know? Oh, yeah. oh but have you done it with Donald? No. No, okay. But you know common <laughs> Okay, oh, that's fine, that's fine. So you know you know what it is. Things yeah, get more expensive. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because people are spending too much. How do you stop people spending? You try to make them save. Uh, you try to make them save. How can you make people save? You give them good interest rates. So for example, if tomorrow ECB said interest rate is 10%, then everybody will stop spending and put their money in the bank and let it grow. If people stop spending, then what do the shops do with the price? They drop it. They try and get people to come back in. So. What you have, whenever inflation is high, uh, the bank can respond by increasing the interest rates to try and save yeah, get people to save money then. Uh, if people aren't spending enough, then what you do is you lower. Yeah. Because then people say, well, why should I save money? I don't get any money. Make people spend. Make people spend. You know, and also if it's lower, then it means your credit card will be cheaper because the interest is lower on the credit card as well. Credit crunch or this called credit crunch? That's uh, that's when banks stop lending money. Yeah. Yeah, which is a problem then. Yeah, I just thought because you're all studying economics, this <laughs> might be interesting to you. You will do this with Donald. Yeah. Uh, what are you doing at the moment? Did you say? Eight activity. Uh, you haven't talked about banks yet. Yeah. No. Okay. You'll probably talk about it soon. So you'll talk about central bank interest rates. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You're doing micro. This is all macro. Yeah. Oh, that's semester two, isn't it? Macro. I think it's sem micro semester one, macro semester two. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Micro, macro. 
This is common. Ah, yeah, they mix a little bit, yeah. yeah. This is common at university. They separate economics. You do a class in micro, and then the next semester you'll do a class in macro, yeah. Okay. All right, guys. Um, try to finish that worksheet. It's important for the exam. Can I just get